Welcome to the latest episode of Beatin' and Bangin'. I'm your host, Kyle Dalton. Today's video is an abbreviated edition because this is really a special call to action to you, the fan. However, before we get to that, let's talk about today's main story. The big news this week, and the worst kept secret in NASCAR circles, was the announcement that Josh Berry will be joining Stuart Haas Racing in 2024 and replacing Kevin Harvick in the number four car. Barry's story is well known, as he made his way up through the ranks, working with Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Junior Motorsports. He's not a driver with a big sponsor. During Wednesday's press conference, Tony Stewart was asked about Barry's path to NASCAR and getting a cup ride on merit, not money. I'll start, I don't mind this one. I I'm not interested in some, some kid's father coming and buying their way into the Cup Series. I have zero interest in that. Um, we want guys that earn their way, that work hard, that understand the values that it takes to be a top-tier driver, not one that just got his high school diploma and now all of a sudden he's a Cup driver. I've got zero interest in that. Stewart's remarks, unsurprisingly, received a lot of attention. But for those of you who followed this channel the last month, or read any of my stories on sportscasting.com, the three-time champion's comments weren't shocking at all and fall right in line with what a couple of other two-time champions have had to say recently about NASCAR's broken business model. Just a couple of weeks ago, I talked about what Joey Logano had to say about it. Here's a snippet. I hate to say it, it's a broken system. I, I hate to say it, but it is so challenging to make it because you gotta have gotta have cash. Um, not not now. That's not everybody, right? Unless you gotta be a standout. You got only ninety nine point nine percent of the people gotta have money. You better be ridiculously good today to get the opportunity that I had. Um, and I mean, even even today, Kenny, I can't go drive a truck without bringing money to the table. Right. Well, that's big. I went to that truck at Bristol this year. I I had to bring a significant amount of money to go drive it. You would think you win a couple cup championships that you can go drive whatever you want whenever they can you sell want. you. Right. It's like, well, they would want me in the car because I can help them, you know, build their program. I have experience. I can, you know, help us. Nope. Nope. I gotta bring money. And a week before that, I addressed Kyle Bush's comments on the same subject when asked about John Hunter Nemechek returning to the Cup Series. Here's what Rowdy had to say. Kind of knew where you were going. This isn't to be mean or rude or a bad word, but uh, he needs six million bucks and he'll be in a JGR Cup car next year. That's all he needs. It's not, it's not a success game anymore, it's a money game. So if he can find the cash, then there'll be a seat for him, I'm pretty sure. I think what's interesting is in the last month, we've had three drivers with a combined seven Cup Series titles between them, sounding off on NASCAR's broken business model. First off, kudos to them for not shirking away from the uncomfortable topic and calling it out for what it is. But secondly, and most importantly, I think the more it's talked about, especially by some of the sport's biggest names, it's applying the pressure to NASCAR in a subtle way. You know officials have heard what's been said. What's even more intriguing is this is all happening while behind the scenes, the teams are in the process of negotiating with NASCAR on its new television contract scheduled to start in 2025. And based on what's been said to this point, they are looking for an increased piece of the revenue pie. According to what I've heard from several sources, the new numbers would affect the business model. To what extent isn't exactly known, but the dollars would roll downhill and reportedly impact Cup, Xfinity, and Truck Series teams. It's a fascinating story, and the recent comments by the three champs only highlight the importance of making a change. And now, what I talked about at the beginning of the video and a call to action. When I launched this channel, I wanted to think outside of the box, do things differently. One of the things that I've always had in mind was incorporating the fan, and that's what we're doing here. This week, I'll be heading up to Chicago 
to cover NASCAR's first ever street course race. Before Sunday's cup race, reporters will get a chance to visit with the drivers and ask questions. And that's where you come in. I'm looking for your best question. If you had a chance to ask a driver or drivers one question, what would it be? It doesn't even have to be specific to racing. Maybe something about their interest outside of NASCAR. Be creative. I'll select one or maybe two questions and ask them. Not only will that question get asked, but I will also give away some swag to the fan who provides the winning submission. The giveaway is from our new partner across the board, and it will be this great NASCAR edition of Farkle. But this isn't just your regular old Farkle. It's customized for the NASCAR fan and includes a beautiful and sturdy wooden dice rolling tray. Check out all of their great products, including the officially licensed NASCAR racing game at shop.atbgame.com. I'll include a link in the description. If I receive a second good question, I might have a commemorative item from the race to give away. Stay tuned. Please submit your questions in the comments section. I'll be keeping a close eye on it, trying to find the best question. And if you don't feel like submitting a question, let me know what you think about Tony Stewart's comments. Do you like the drivers and the co-owners speaking out? Do you think NASCAR is feeling the pressure from the three championship drivers' recent remarks? All right, guys, thanks as always for watching the channel. If you liked what you saw, please let your NASCAR buddies know what we're doing here at Beatin' and Bangin'. And if you want to read more stories like this, be sure and check out my articles on sportscasting.com. See the link in the description. Don't forget to get those questions in as soon as possible. Hope to see you in the next video and have a great rest of your day.